He's a genius, huh? That's what they tell me. You're willing to take responsibility for his actions? Hi guys, it's Mr. Gallimore. Today we're going to be looking at the scale box model that we've created. On one side we have Mr. Bean, on the other side we have the detectives. So let's see what we found. So our first side, side A, that's going to be the side with Mr. Bean. And you notice that the other side, side B, is going to be closed and that's the side with the detectives. First we're going to experience the box through Mr. Bean's side. So we're going to look through a little peephole at the window and we're going to see that, yeah, we can see the reflection of Mr. Bean in the window. So we have Mr. Bean and we can see his reflection, right? So I have the little green army man that's being reflected into the window. My little green army man right there. And that's his reflection. Okay, now we're going to spin it around and we're going to look at side B. This would be what the detectives see. So now... I have my little tan army man, and you notice that you can see Mr. Bean through the window. So this device is acting like a mirror on one side and a window on the other. You can kind of see with the light coming through at the top that uh, we can see a very faint image of the detectives. But if I close all the light off, that image can go away. Okay, so as I'm closing it, you see the image slowly fading. We're going to explore what would happen if I opened up the side that the detectives are on and closed uh, the side that Mr. Bean was on. So Mr. Bean was on side A and the detectives were on side B. So I closed side A now, which was open previously, and I opened up side B. And as we look through, you can see now that side B, you can see the reflection. So I have my detectives and you can clearly see the reflection through side B. Now I'm gonna spin it around and we're gonna look through Mr. Bean's side. And now you notice that on Mr. Bean's side, we're seeing straight through the window, okay? Let's see if we can see Mr. Bean. Yeah, you can kind of see Mr. Bean's head right there. But he's looking straight through the window at the detectives. So my question is, what do you think would happen if we opened up both sides of the box? Leave your answer in the comments below. Okay, if you haven't put your answer yet, make sure to pause the video and then put your answer before moving on because, spoiler alert, we're about to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the side that Mr. Bean's on and the detective side. And now we're going to see how does this impact the window. So I have my little green army man, Mr. Bean, and I have my beige army man, the detectives. And let's look through Mr. Bean's side first. As we look through the people on Mr. Bean's side, you can kind of see both images. So in this situation, on Mr. Bean's side, it's acting like both a window and a mirror, because I can see Mr. Bean, there's my little green army guy, right? But I can also see this image that isn't in the room with Mr. Bean. It almost looks like a ghost. Okay, let's look on the other side through the detectives and see if it's the same experience or if maybe they see something different. Okay, so we're on the detective side and we're looking through the eye hole. And you notice that you can clearly see the reflection of the detective, but right behind the detective, you see a little faint hologram almost or a faint image of Mr. Bean. So again, on this side, it's acting like both a window and a mirror. So my next question is, what role does light play in this phenomenon? How does the darkness affect the mirror slash window? And how does the light affect the mirror slash window? And why do you think this happens? Leave your comments below. Great job today, guys. I'm going to be checking over them and we're gonna be adding these to our classroom discussion. Have a great day.